I'm Larisha Aniguez. This is my narration demo. Death. Who has not considered their own mortality and wondered at what awaits? Once our frail human shell expires. What occurs after the heart stops beating? After the last breath is drawn? After life as we know it terminates? Does our spirit remain on earth while the mortal body rots? Do remnants of our soul transcend to a celestial heaven or sink to hell's torment? Are we offered choices in an individualized afterlife? Can we die again in the hereafter? Is life merely a cosmic joke or is it an experiment for something greater? Included within this critically acclaimed anthology are answers to these queries, alongside tales and suppositions relating from traditional ghosts to the afterlife of E. coli. Hey, sweet thing. He strutted his way over to me at the bar. I was shocked. The audacity of this man. He even went as far as to tap me on my shoulder. Can I buy you a drink? You sure look good tonight. I wanted to throw up right then and there. Why did I come out tonight? Oh, yeah, because Janet had pissed me off once more with her extracurricular activities. We shared the same dorm room and her conquest had gotten too much for me to handle. I sipped on my cocktail and didn't glance in the asshole's direction. I thought to myself, please, just let this jerk go away so I can finish my drink in peace. What? You death or something, sugar britches? I could smell the alcohol on his breath as he came closer. Very smoothly, I placed my right hand into my purse and grasped the stun gun I always kept ready. Once upon a time, the mice, feeling constantly in danger from a cat, resolved to call a meeting to decide upon the best means of getting rid of this continual annoyance. Many plans were discussed and rejected. At last, a young mouse got up and proposed that a bell should be hung around the cat's neck. This proposition was hailed with the greatest applause and unanimous agreement. Upon which an old mouse got up and said that he considered the plan most ingenious and that it would, no doubt, solve their problem. But he had one question to ask. Which one of them was going to put the bell around the cat's neck? <laughs>